we're in this sort of battle with our diet and gravity and travel and not getting enough sleep sometimes because we have kids and all kinds of things. And so we're in this sort of like constantly trying to help our bodies. At least I, I am, but it seems like a lot of people around me are we're like constantly healing from something, constantly trying to get back to a cleaner state. And it's a lot of work. And mm-hmm. so what's your, you know, how do you, how do you manage all like the work of your own body versus actually just trying to be productive? Cause I, I know you're also quite prolific in stuff that you create. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So um, it changes all the time. So I'm in my, my house is right next door. You've been here. My house is right next door. Here's my shop. Oh, you have a separate studio. Yeah. So when we were outside by the pool and everything, the, the, the house that you saw right next to it is actually just a big garage. Okay. And, and that's what, where this is, this is my office. And right outside here is a big open space. So I get out there, I'll skate around. I have battle ropes. I have kettlebells, medicine balls, small heavy ones to the bigger ones that you can bounce. I have the medicine balls on a rope so you can like smash it from side to side, pair of balls, maces, those things, and um, hacky sacks. I mean, everything from light coordinated things to heavy smashing things. So when I realize that I've been working too much, and this is why I work for myself, because I, I, I can't have somebody else have to sign off on when I'm allowed to get up and go out and, and move around. It, need, it needs to be up to me. Um, because sometimes I'll be sitting here and I'll be working and I'll be in the flow. And then I'll just hit a point where like, I'm not as productive. I know what needs to get done, but I'm not as quick and I'm not as productive, nor am I as inspired. And I realize that's because you know how we go through these sleep cycles, sleep cycles are somewhere around like 90 minutes. Yeah. You have to honor those sleep cycles and why most people wake up around two to three in the morning to pee is because that's an average time. Not only is your body working on certain organs at that time, but that's an average time where people are coming out of their sleep cycle and some people sleep straight through it, but some others don't. Well, for me, when I'm working and I notice that like, I've, I've been like, let's say like deep diving in my work, but then my body's getting bored and the inspiration is losing and I'm starting to shift in my seat a lot more. Then I realize I'm not creative anymore because my body's like, all right, you've been focusing on that computer screen far too long. Why don't you get up and do something fun for me? So I'll get up and I'll skate around. And what's beautiful about that is I'll skate around and I'll, I'll take these aerobies. They're like giant Frisbees. And I'll throw them around. And sometimes I'll throw it really slowly and see if I can skate and catch it myself. Um, I try and do things that challenge my body that don't really challenge my mind much. And what that does is it allows for all the heady intellectual editing or research work that I do to take a back seat. And that's what allows me to dissociate from it. And you know, when you're really trying to think of somebody's name and you can't, and you're like, oh, it'll come to me. And then later when you're not trying to think of it, it'll just naturally come to you. I feel like that's when I'm like, I've hit a brick wall in my creative work. I need to get up and move. I need to let my body start to celebrate. And when my body celebrates, it's not like I'm not working in the background. It's just, I'm, I'm celebrating with my body. I'm having fun. I'm breathing, I'm sweating. And then all of a sudden, I'll just get this awesome idea that was something that I know I couldn't have come up with had I sat in that chair for another 20 minutes, you know, like but that. getting my, up and moving for 20 minutes actually did the trick. I like that. My body needs to celebrate. It's a, it's a good yeah. turn of phrase. At, at least two to three times a day, my body needs to celebrate. And then I'll, I'll have that moment at the end of the day where like, okay, I still need to upload, upload all the stuff that I made but my kids are going to go to sleep in two to three hours. So I'm going to go jump on the trampoline with them or run around in the backyard or just have a deep dive with them. And then when they're down to sleep, I'll take 20 minutes and upload everything and then shut the computer. I try not to do tech work or, you know, artificial light work when I'm uh, about to go to sleep, but I just kind of pick and choose my battles. You know, I have, I have a ton of work to do. And a lot of the times I'm just stressed. I need to get it done. I've placed the demand on myself. So I just make compromises. I'm like, yeah, but I took three hours off to play with my kids earlier. I'll spend 20 minutes at nine o'clock at night 
staring at a computer. That's that's an okay compromise to me.